complete interview with Jeff Sokol. He surfaced in our Predator investigation in Fairfield, Connecticut. A little bit of it aired on my syndicated show, Crime Watch Daily, but now here on Hanson vs. Predators, you'll see the whole thing. Sokol came with food and an appetite for sex. He left after a very aggressive interview with me in handcuffs. is like almost as big as the uh, big one. So I, I didn't know that. Get, like you said small, I thought it would be like a really small one. Yeah. I said big one. Sorry. Are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, I am. I'm fine. I've just never done this before. I know. Have I, you? No. Not really. I mean. Are you telling me the truth? I mean, I've met girls online, but I I don't like come like this far to like meet someone. I don't know why. I, you know, it's kind of crazy, huh? It is crazy. Yeah. Why did you let me come? I don't know. If you're so nervous. It seems like a good idea, and you seem nice. Why do you think I came? I think I know. It's not the only reason. It's not the reason. What's the reason? I've not just, you know, been talking to you for a while and you seem like really cool to hang out with and, you know, someone that I'd like to meet and I wanted to check out the situation, you know? Well, here we are. Yeah. Here we are. So, let's deal with this whole contract thing, because I'm just going to be thinking about it the whole time until we get that out of the way. This document was something Sokol put together after some research on the internet to protect himself from getting in trouble for having sex with a 13-year-old girl. He talked about it in the chat along with a lot of other graphic topics. It didn't work. Um... Let's, let's see, and then we can like, talk about it. Okay. There's plates behind you. Can I grab one? Huh? There's plates behind you. Can I grab one? Do you want a water or anything? No. Okay. Man, well, I got this for in case we want right. to I'll, I'll grab the water. All right, it will help. Do you want to eat at the table? What do you want to do? Um, don't you just eat here? Yeah, it, it. I mean, uh, yeah, I expected it to be like two and a half hours, so. You're from the Boston area, you said? Yeah, can I wash my hand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have some family that lives up there. It's pretty nice. Do you? Yeah, I've been to a uh, funeral hall. Where's your family? Like, what, what part of Boston? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boston's so confusing. It's a uh, wicked confusing. Wicked confusing. I mean, you look great. Thanks. You just look different than what I, I than like in the pictures. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I expected you to have dark hair. Did you? My hair just it lightens up in the summer. And, and no, I'm not saying. I mean, I think you, <laughs> you look don't great. Like it? I think you look great. I'm just saying, like you, you look different. Yeah, than than uh, than I thought. 
Yeah. But, uh, no, nothing wrong with that. Well, you never can tell with online things, you know? What about me? Um, do, do I look different? I mean, you look different. I'm not saying better or worse, just different. <laughs> I have cupcakes too, come on. Let's see, did you make them? Look at those, do you think I made those? Mm -mm. I have an idea. No. Do you want to use plates or do you want to just Whatever eat you want, we're pretty casual here. Okay. I, I'm like too nervous to eat. <laughs> well, you already ate, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I was just, I was wondering if you were going to be, like how would, how would you be? Like, would you be nervous? Would you be like totally like, <laughs> Like like you've done this before. Oh, you know, definitely that haven't done this before. <laughs> like I don't know, you just seemed very very like you didn't seem nervous at all uh, when I talked to you and just in well, general. Yeah, it's different when you're talking to someone online versus like person. coming to their house know, and meeting them. I, I just gotta take take something. Uh, this isn't drugs. It's just a uh, yeah. No, by all means, here, drink water. It's something that I take when I before I eat. In the middle of it all, Sokol pulls out a medicine bottle. You can see it on the video. He takes a pill, apparently in preparation for what he thinks is going to be a big night ahead. What have you been doing all day? I'm just hanging out, watching TV, Netflix and stuff. What's that? I have no idea. Do you want me to check? Is somebody here? No. What kind of pizza do we have tonight? Who's this? I'll get to that in a minute. Who are you? Who are you? You tell me first. You're Jeff, right? Yeah. And what are you doing here tonight, Jeff? Hanging out. Hanging out with whom? With her. Who's her? I, I, I want to know who you are. I want to know a little bit more about you first. Can I eat first? Sure, go ahead. Tell me who you are, is, you know, I didn't know there would be other people here. Well, what did you expect to happen here tonight, Jeff? Didn't have any expectations. No expectations whatsoever? No. So you drove two and a half hours? Sure did. From Boston? Who are you? To come here. Are you a dad? To meet a young girl. Are you, are you a dad? I will get to that in a minute. Uh -huh. Go ahead, have a bite. Wow. I haven't done anything wrong. How old are you? What does it matter? I'd like to know. I haven't done anything wrong. Coming to meet somebody? What's wrong? What, what, is that against Coming the law? to meet a young girl? Yeah, is that against the law? It is after this chat. How? Did you bring some kind of a contract with you? Some sort of marriage contract? <laughs> Let's see if any of this sounds familiar while you enjoy your pizza. I should come see you on Saturday. Well, since your mom isn't home, it's the best time to do it. I would, but only if you want me to. You say, I can't go to jail. My life would be ruined. Right. Could be locked up for 20 years. Yep. And then you say, do you trim your blank? Okay. Now you know that this girl is 13, right? I wasn't sure. She's told you. No. That doesn't... And you're what, 37? That doesn't mean anything. You're 37? How old are you? You might as well just tell me, because I can find out like that. Who are you? Can you tell me who you are first? I will tell you that in a minute. Because, you know, now you're, you're making me nervous and... You're 44 years old, right? Mm-hmm. Right? As a 44-year-old guy, I shouldn't be talking to 13-year-old girls like this. Yet I want to. What am I supposed to make of that? Sorry, I'm paranoid. For meeting me? No, potentially having sex. But that is where the breaking the law comes from. All right. Punishable up to 20 years. Did you bring condoms with you tonight? Well, they plan on having sex. Do you have them in your car? No. I'm going to find out, so you might as well tell me now. I don't. 
Go ahead, check the car. You will never tell anyone about us having sex. Are you sure? Okay, I could be there Saturday afternoon. Explain. So Explain I, it to me. Just wanted to come hang out and... It looks like here you wanted to come here and have sex with a 13-year-old girl. Okay, is, there, is that against the law to like... To, to meet... have sex with a 13-year-old girl no. when you're 44? Yes, no, it's meet, against the law. To meet, to meet a girl. That's all I've done. You see how this looks. Okay, but, but, but do you also see that... I was pretty apprehensive about the whole sex thing. Well, wouldn't you be? Wouldn't anybody be if they're right. going to try to have sex with a 13-year-old girl? Uh, what, uh, to be honest with you, yeah. you're not going to believe me, but I don't, I don't know who you are, but I'm sure you're like, you know, law enforcement, but... You think I'm law enforcement? Well, I mean, that's what it, it sounds like. I was thinking about this on the way down. Right. You had two and a half hours to think about it. And, <laughs> and, um, and I, I wasn't going to, I'm not going to risk it. That's, that's what I said. It's not normal for a 44-year-old guy to drive two and a half hours to hang out with a 13-year-old girl. I wanted, I wanted to hang out, see how she was, see if... A 13-year-old girl? How often do you do this sort of thing? <laughs> never done it. You've never done it. So tonight, you just decided, okay, I'm going to drive two and a half hours oh, yeah, down I-95 from Boston yeah, been talking to, her to this house. Yeah, talking to her while, seemed cool to hang out with. I mean, what the... You can't find any I nothing else older girls? I can, but I had nothing else going on. So you decided you'd just come out and hang out with a 13-year-old girl? Yeah, you can clearly you can clearly see that I'm very apprehensive about that. Let's life. say we meet and really like each other and want to continue seeing each other. How would we do this? Like I said, as long as you're under 16, age of consent, parenthetically, nobody can know about it. I just can't take that chance. What it sounds like here is you're grooming her testing her to make sure it would be okay if you had sex with her so no one would find out to be honest with you like i said when i was on the way down right i was thinking about the whole thing and and even before i left right i was thinking i'm not going to have sex with her unless it's legal so you talk about a plan to make it legal to marry her yeah, right yeah not like not in two seconds I mean, like... So if you liked her, like, next week or the week after, you'd marry a 13-year-old no, girl? not next week. No. So after just a few days' worth of chatting, you decide you love her? No. You want to have sex with her? I don't know. You it, it, want to marry her? What do you mean? You don't know? She's 13. I don't know. I was just throwing things out, like, you know, just in case. I, maybe I did like her. Maybe it was, you know... So then you'd marry cool. a 13-year-old girl because she's really cool and you could have sex. Um... After a while, if it, if it worked out, yeah. After a while? Yeah. Well, like three years of dating? I don't know. A romantic courtship? Maybe. Maybe. So you're cool with all this. You just think this is just fine. Marching here see, to this home. See, I know, see, I know, I know what, you, I know what you're, you're... Well, what, what you're, else you're, am I supposed to think, Jeff? Do I, I mean, do I seem like a, like a, like a dishonest, dirty person? I mean, do I, do I seem like it to you? This chat seems like it. It seems like chat someone is, who is 44 chat. years old. Chat is chat. It's chat like... is chat, but showing up is showing up. And guess what, Jeff? You showed up at a home where you knew a 13-year-old girl would be alone after a sexually charged conversation online. You come in, oh, I want to hug you. Yeah, the little girl is nervous. That's you do it with everybody. Yeah. You do that every time you meet a 13-year-old girl. I, I do it when I meet somebody for the first time. Okay, them. but this somebody is not an adult, John. She's 13. You need to please tell me who you are. I'll tell you who I'm you trying. I'm trying to be nice here. I, okay. I, I'm, so am I. But I, you're not answering all my questions. I will. Can you just tell me who you are? I'm Chris Hansen, and this is an investigation called Hansen vs. Predator. So if there's anything else you want people to know, anything you want to say, now would be a good time to say it. I can't believe this happened. Did you bring any sort of a marriage contract? No. So what was all that talk about? I don't want to. I don't want to talk anymore. Okay. You, can, you can leave. On camera. I you can leave. What do you mean I can leave? You can leave. And then what? That's not up to me. This is up to. Me. It's not up to me.
You didn't have to come here, you know. What do you do for a living, John? I don't want to talk anymore. There's insurance business, right? Cameras rolling. Insurance? I don't want to talk anymore. All right. As I said, you're free to leave. Can you shut it off? I cannot shut it off, no. I mean, what is this? It's an investigation for a television program called Hanson vs. Predator, where we investigate grown people who go online and try to create inappropriate illegal relationships with underage children. So unless you have something else to say, now would be a good time to go. I don't have anything else to say. All right, then. You can take your pizza if you like. You want a slice? I'm good, thank you very much. So the cops here? We'll see. Okay. Or the, uh, if they're here, just bring them in. It'd be best if you went out that way. <sighs> Grab a jacket. Just out for the garage. Sokol was sentenced to seven years in prison, serving a mandatory 30 months. He is eligible for parole in June.